Hi, I'm Rie, and here are my edible gift ideas for this holiday season. Sometimes it's overwhelming to do holiday shopping and could cost a lot of money. But if you make edible gifts by yourself, it's fun, personal, and less expensive. These cookies can be used as ornaments and you can also eat them. You will make simple cut out sugar cookies and roll it out to rectangular shapes. Cut them out with cookie cutters. Usually when you are making cut out cookies, you will remove the scraps, but for this, you don't need to. Keep them scraps and use them as pieces of your ornaments. I think those irregular shapes look cool and very unique, and also it looks like a puzzle pieces. Make sure to cut out little holes so you can hang them. When you bake them, make sure to separate them so they don't stick together. To finish, I decorate them with royal icing, but you can gift them without it. If you want to keep them on the tree for a longer period of time, put them in a plastic bag. These cookies can be the perfect, low-cost, but super personal holiday gift for your friends and family. These cookies that look like snowballs go by many names, such as Mexican wedding cookies and Russian tea cakes. They are perfect as a winter holiday gift. Crushed nuts and powdered sugar gives them a very soft and delicate texture. It will melt in your mouth. I used the walnuts for this recipe, but you can use almonds or pecans. The dough will be a little crumbly, but once you start shaping it, it's easy to shape into ball shapes. You don't want to make it too brown, so bake it at the low temperature. 325 Fahrenheit is usually a good setting for these cookies. Make sure to coat them with powdered sugar while they are still hot, so the sugar sticks better. Since these cookies are very fragile, I recommend putting them in a jar or a box when giving them as a gift. I used the glass jars and added a Christmas ornament and a little toy so it feels more festive. If you are a beginner baker, I recommend you to make candied nuts because it's super easy and you will only need a few ingredients. Basically, you will coat your favorite nuts with egg whites, sugar, and a pinch of salt. You can also add spices like cinnamon if you'd like. Bake them in the oven, but make sure to mix them every 10 minutes so the nuts are well coated with frosting. You can eat them as is, but they are also perfect for salad and cake toppings. They also go well with cheese plates. They are crunchy and delicious. Give it a try! So, I made this video for the final season of Game of Thrones watch party, but you can stencil anything you like. For example, a holiday motif or the receiver's favorite things, say superhero logo or astrological sign. Be creative! I'm using my go-to sugar cookie dough here, but you can use your favorite sugar cookie dough when you're making this recipe. If you want to use my recipe, you can see recipe details in the video description. Make sure to chew the dough before you use it so it holds the shape. I'm not great at making stencils, so I asked my friend, Nifty producer, and my work wife, Hitomi, to help me. Once you cut out stencils, make sure to hold the cutout paper really tight when you are dabbing cocoa powder, so cocoa powder doesn't get underneath the paper. It could ruin the pattern you just created if it does. When you bake it, make sure to bake it at 350 Fahrenheit and rotate halfway through. You don't want to make it too brown, so you can highlight the cool design on the cookie. I think this is a fun and creative way of making personalized cookies. This is also a super easy edible gift idea for you. It's a no-bake dessert. You'd just melt dark chocolate and mix it in with your favorite cookies or cereal. I think you can even make in a dorm room if you have a microwave. When you're using double boiler, make sure the water doesn't get into the chocolate, so it won't seat. 
if you are melting chocolate in a microwave and it has seized, add a little bit of coconut oil as an easy fix. Once it's set, cut them into bite sides and wrap them. It's a very easy yet delicious edible gift. When my husband and I were newlyweds, we had a small budget to buy gifts for all of our family members and friends. So we decided to bake cookies for them instead. We baked different kinds of cookies and put them in a jar or a box and gave them as a gift. We did it for a few years and it has become our tradition. Now I enjoy baking cookies during the holiday season. What are your holiday traditions?